Today, a program that's been an integral part of the racial social justice movement for four decades in Milwaukee. Project Return helps men and women make a positive and permanent return to their communities after incarceration. Joining us now to talk about Project Return is one of the founding board members, Pastor Joe Alwanger, along with the current board president, Rodney Evans, who also happens to be one of their success stories. Good morning to you, gentlemen. Good morning to you. Thanks for joining me. I think this is such a, an important conversation we're about to have. So I want to start with you, Pastor Joe, because it is the 40th anniversary of Project Return. So I want to know a little bit about how it started and really how you feel it's impacted the community in over four decades. That's a powerful question that I could spend a lot of time on, but let me uh, try to make it short. Uh, yes, I was privileged to be there at the beginning when uh, Cross Lutheran Church, where I was pastor, uh, saw the need for uh, helping returnees, people returning from uh, state prison, uh, to have some resources when they get back here. Because what every person returning needs is, uh, there are three basic elements. They need a job, uh, they need housing, uh, and they need a community or support group so that they're not out there by themselves alone. And that's what Project Return was uh, formed to, uh, to bring into being. And uh, it's been quite a story over 40 years. When we started, our uh, director was quarter time. And uh, now we have seven full-time uh, staff persons and uh, five of them are persons who have experienced uh, incarceration, and so they know what people are experiencing when they walk through the door and ask for some help. You know, I think there's so many misconceptions and there's fear, you know, from the community. And so I want to talk to you, Rodney. Um, you're the president now. I, I want to talk about how you got involved with Project Return and really how it's affected your life. Well, when I was when I came to Project Return, I had been in the criminal justice system for 15 to 20 years. I had a debilitating drug habit, so I constantly sabotaged myself and I just was in jail and it was when the last time that I was in jail that my probation officer gave me an alternative um, to go to Project Return for an AODA program. And from that point, my life has changed exceedingly, exceedingly. But at the point that they found me, I was at the place inside myself that I believe what society said about me. I believe what the criminal justice system said about me. I was convinced that I was a failure, that I was a, a failure at being a dad a husband, um, a member of society, I was I was convinced. So when Project Return got me, they had an uphill battle. But believe me, the love that they showed me absolutely changed my life. I think what you just shared there is a sentiment of so many. I've, I've been fortunate to sit at a table, a round table, with men who are incarcerated and have conversations. And I think that belief that you're a failure, that life can't get better, that there's nothing for you is shared with so many. So I love that you shared that vulnerability in the way that you felt. How, how important were the services that you received from Project Return in you becoming a part of the community and starting to have belief that your life can be different? So, so it's, it's quite interesting. I had, like I said, I had a, I had a very, very bad drug habit, habit. So I had so many walls built up, but around, I had a 12 week outpatient program. We met every Monday for an hour and a half. And, and I noticed after like the sixth or seventh week that anything that we would bring up as a problem on one Monday night, the next Monday night, somehow supernaturally, that problem would be taken care of. And I also understood or noticed that I was not being judged for where I was at. And that by itself caused a tremendous transformation. And so once my 12 weeks were up, I, I continued to go to the support groups for the next two years. And in those next two years, I, I went to parenting classes, I went to relationship classes, I went and volunteered, and it just absolutely changed 
my perspective of life. I thought when I got there that it was the last chapter of my life, and I realized today that it was the beginning of my life. Oh, I, I love that. And Pastor Joe, you've lived a storied life. Uh, you've marched next to Martin Luther King Jr. You've, you've lived through the civil rights movements. I would love to know your perspective on how you think Project Return's role has been in 2020, especially with the racial social justice movement and, and how important it is right now to have a program like this. Well, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned my connection with Martin Luther King and, and the civil rights movement of the 60s. I was in the right place at the right time. I was a pastor of a, an African-American congregation in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, in the 60s, and that's exactly uh, the time when Dr. King, of course, was leading uh, the demonstrations in Birmingham and in Selma, two of the most important uh, demonstrations in the civil rights movement. And that's where I learned that it's uh, important uh, all the time to work for justice and for making things right that are not right, uh, in our society. And that's where I uh, have gotten some energy and some juices ever since, uh, right up to the present moment. It's important uh, that we see that there's still things that need to be changed. And uh, that's what Project Return is working on in partnership with uh, MICA, for instance. Uh, we, we're we working hard to make sure that uh, crimeless revocations uh, are a thing of the past where uh, people get revoked back to prison, uh, not because they committed a new crime, but because they broke a rule of their parole agreement. And uh, unfortunately, half of the people in prison in the state of Wisconsin are people who have gone back to prison after they got out. They, had, they went back because they broke a rule, not because they committed a new crime. And we think that this is uh, counterproductive, this is harmful, and this is not right. So that's one example of something that uh, Project Return is working on to bring about a, a change and some beginning in the changes has, has taken place. And uh, definitely uh, there are, there's work that can be done and needs to be done to continue this job of helping returnees uh, make a positive return to family, neighborhoods, and friend and uh, community. You both are doing great work. Thank you for joining me this morning. There's a lot of wrongs that need to be righted. I appreciate it. Thank you. It's our privilege. Thanks, guys. All right. Here's the information. Project Return 40th Anniversary Celebration Special can be viewed at their website. It's projectreturnmilwaukee.org.